Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the new Mitt to Be palette by Colourpop. This is their newest collection and as soon as I saw it, I had to order it. Greens aren't usually my thing, and neither are pastels, but this one really, really spoke to me. So if you want to see my first thoughts and how I got this look on my eyes today, then sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and don't forget, like, subscribe below, and hit that notification bell. much much closer to my face so let's take a look at the mid to be palette from Colourpop. I actually haven't even opened this up yet so let's do it together. Oh <laughs> little packaging thing here and oh look at it. It is so cute. It is so pretty. Oh this shade here I thought was just a matte but it appears to have like a little bit of glitter in it but it's pretty. Oh this looks very very promising so I'm gonna take the little thing off the mirror and we're gonna dig right in. Oh, I'm far more excited. This is actually cuter in person than I expected it to be. So I'm very, very, very shocked. So I'm gonna scoot in here and make sure, pick up my monitor, make sure I'm in frame. And we are gonna get right to it. I'm gonna grab a little blending brush here. And I'm probably gonna go right in with, oh, probably get fresh, this lightest shade here. And I'm gonna take that kind of lower into my crease. Like most color shop, uh, color shop. <laughs> like most color pop shadows, uh, it does give a fair amount of kick up, but it looks pretty good. Ooh, oh wow, this is showing up. This is wow. This is for a pastel. This is showing up really pretty. Oh wow. And for time's sake, I'm gonna do it on this eye and then I'll do this eye off camera. But so far, oh, that is very pretty. I'm gonna build it up just a touch, not a lot. Just a little bit right through here. I'm gonna keep it, like I said, kind of low. And just kind of turn my brush to the side. Gently fluff it out. But so far, that is looking so, so, so pretty. I don't know if it's picking up as well on camera, but ooh, I'm loving that. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with I was tempted on whether or not I wanted to use Seltzer or Dement, but I think I'm gonna go in with a more green tone, Dement. Take that on the same brush, actually. Tap that off. Ooh, very powdery, like I said, but so far, super pigmented, so I don't really care. I'm gonna take that a little bit lower, kind of into that, and blend those together. I'm probably going to deepen my crease a little bit with that shade. Take that on the flatter edge of my brush. Do like pack that on right there. And then fluff that into my crease a little bit more. Okay, so blending them together, and maybe because I use the same brush, usually not the same case, they do kind of they don't really contrast as much as I wanted them to. So I'm gonna switch brushes really fast, grab something a little smaller, and then I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with Ice Cold. It's kind of bluish green shade here. Tap that off. Ooh, very dusty, pretty. Ooh, this is pretty. I'm gonna take this right on the very edge of my eye. I'm gonna concentrate there and just really buff that. Ooh, pretty. Loving this actually. I'm just gonna just super, super lightly take that in the crease. Almost none at all. I just buff that up a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, I love that color. Yeah, that was ice cold here. That is so, so, so pretty. You see on camera. That's looking pretty. Ooh. You guys, I was really like on the fence about whether or not I was gonna pick this up. And I'm ooh, lining you with that, sorry. I was on the fence of whether or not I was gonna pick this up and I'm super, super glad that I did. Um, so I'm gonna go back in with, ooh, I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush, this little guy here. And I'm gonna go into Shell Factory here. I'm just gonna take that out just so slightly, really get it on that brush. Tap that off really well. 
And I'm just really gonna take this super low and really try to deepen the edge of this. Okay, I really, really loved what that did. So I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna buff over the edges. Make sure everything looks really nice and blended. I'm actually gonna take a touch more of these that Dement and Get Fresh shades. Kind of dab most of it off on the back of my hand and just gently buff out the edges with that. Just to make sure everything looks nice and blended. Okay. Really, really loving that. That's really, really soft, but still like a fun pop of color. Okay, and then I'm going to take, I don't know if I want to take a brush or my finger. I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to take this tiny little brush here and I'm going to pack the shade. Gosh, I'm so torn. I don't know if I want to go in. I'm going to take minty on the lid, I think, and then I'm going to take a little bit of this Play It Cool shade right on the inner corner, maybe a little on the brow bone. Go super frosty, we'll see. So I'm going to go in with minty here. Ooh. I didn't say this, but I primed my lids before. But still, with shimmer shades, I usually use my finger, but I've been trying to use a brush to better judge of what most people do. And, oh my goodness, this is applying beautifully. Minimal to no fallout. Ooh, okay, and I'm gonna take that shade, that brush I had before, this little guy, and I'm just gonna buff over that edge, make sure that looks really faded and gradient and pretty. Oh, that is looking so, so, so gorgeous. Ooh, I'm gonna take a little more and get right on my lash line here. Yes, you guys. This shade, Minty, which is the cutest name, um, is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with that. And then I'm gonna go in with a really teeny, teeny, teeny little detail brush. And I'm gonna grab this Play It Cool shade. Pop that in the inner corner. Ooh, I did get a little bit of fallout. By a little, I mean a lot, but it's fine. Pop that in the inner corner. I'm gonna dust this fallout away. Oh. Boom. Took two seconds. Okay, you guys, that is the finished look. I'm gonna throw on, I'm gonna throw on a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna throw on a highlighter, a little bit of lip, and I will be right back with the other eye done, the full finished look, and my final thoughts on the Mid To Be palette. Okay, everybody, we are back from my final thoughts, and I don't know if I already gave it away, but the new Mint To Be palette by ColourPop gets a huge, huge, huge thumbs up, huge yes. Love this so, so, so much. Honestly, was a little nervous about grains, was nervous about pastels, but I am so, so happy with how this eye look turned out today. It is gorgeous. I love this. It's frosty, still somehow wearable. I feel like uh, if you don't have green shades and you need something, this is the one to pick up. I'm obsessed with this. I honestly think I'm gonna reach for this a lot more often, and I feel like this is gonna kind of push me out of my comfort zone, which I love. So if you love this palette, I'll leave a link below. It's only $12, but I'm actually leaving a link for 15% off. If you use that link, I do get a little kickback. So thank you so much in advance for that. But again, thank you so, so much for watching the video today. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, and I love y'all.